The following is a segment from session 10 of the Honestly Better Mental Fitness Show. If you would like a list of all the segments and the full sessions, please visit honestlybetterfitness.com forward slash list. That's honestlybetterfitness.com forward slash list. Welcome, LH Industrial, Honestly Better Mental Fitness. I found mental fitness a few years ago and it, it changed my life, it's changed my family's life. And now we're bringing it to all of LH Industrial to put it out to the rest of the world. Thank you for joining us. The question or uh, maybe analogy that we'll bring in is how well, or maybe the right question is how intentional are you about maintaining your relationship? I think um, uh, L&H could work with a lot of machines and a lot of cars. And I don't think there's a single machine probably at L&H or a single car that would run forever without maintenance without care, without a schedule. My guess is I'm not there. So you guys tell me if I'm wrong, but you probably have a maintenance schedule for every important machine out there. You probably know how often you have to change the oil. in the. It's every three months or every 3,000 miles. Uh, you know what it likes. You know what it doesn't like. You fuel it. You care for it. You take care of it properly. You give it all the things you need and it runs and, and does well. And my guess is at l &H, you are doing that very intentionally. It's on your calendar. It's on your, you have a, some sort of gauge that goes off of, oh, it's hit 80,000 cycles. We got to redo these parts or these other parts. But how intentional are you about your relationships? Do you give it the same care and effort that you do your vehicle? Do you have something on your calendar of like, I haven't checked in with my spouse or with my partner? Do you know what they like, what they don't like, what they need, what they most desire, what you do or don't do that is most helpful or unhelpful to them in this moment? Do you know what their deepest desires are? Do you know what their likes and dislikes are? And how intentional are you about, about meeting those things? Do you have a, hey, every three weeks we do this, we check in with each other every three days or every three months or whatever it is, the same way that you take care of your car, take care of your machines, take care of everything else in your life. I'm going to say, uh, think about your relationships and those terms as well. Today is a roadmap to better relationships, whether we're moving from bad to good or from good to great or from great to incredible. Um, this is for everyone and this is uh, part of that. I also want to bring in today that these are observations that I've made. These are um, studies and research that has been done, uh, but these aren't you. There are general principles that are helpful and impactful uh, that all relationships need. And there are very specific things that will be specific to you. I'll try to kind of highlight some of those and know that the opportunity to work specifically on your relationship is there as well. Uh, this came about because a lot of, um, how long have we been doing this for now, Mike? Is it two years? Yeah, it seems it's like we've been doing it two years. Uh, this is our 10th session. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the one-on-one -on -one sessions uh, continue to grow, and I think to continue to be more powerful, and they think they grow with people because people have impacts on them. And uh, Mike and Stacey and I had this conversation to bring this topic in because we've seen that individuals started working and then it changed things in them and then in order for them to continue to change and grow the relationship needed to change and grow and so probably 60 percent maybe maybe 70 percent of the um one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions that are currently happening at an lnh are couples whether it's couples together or two couples individually or you know the the two individuals in the couple working on themselves and you know, then improving the relationship is what uh, a lot of it's come about. It's also, um, there's, a, I think a, in a couple episodes ago, we talked about the Harvard study that's like the longest study ever done on happiness and health and well-being. And the you know big reveal secret about uh, happiness and health and well-being, like physical health, uh, mental health, uh, happiness, all you know, success in life, all basically came down to the core relationships in your life. Have good, rela happy relationships, happy life, good, healthy relationships, good, healthy life. And you don't have them, you don't have much quality of life and health goes down. So I think it's worth spending some time figuring out what we can do better. How do we get more intentional, intentional about either maintaining or improving our relationships the way we do other things in life? 